Yo, what's good, y'all? No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV .com. Stuff like this make me uneasy, man. You feel me? Because it's like, yo, you industry rappers, ain't none of y'all grow up living certain lifestyles. You feel what I'm saying? Who is you niggas to be talking about some on pie rule? Like, what? What? And I'm not even a gang member. Like, but it, it just creeps me out. It's like, yo, if you're not a gang member, you ain't grow up in that lifestyle. You ain't never get jumped in or nothing like that. Stop with all this fake banging shit. Like, come on, man. Like, Bow Wow. Like, come on, son. You little Bow Wow, son. Like, you've been a millionaire since you was like seven or eight years old. You not no gangster. You not no gangster. I don't care who you getting extorted by when y'all in Cali. I don't care who you hanging with when you in Cali. You are not no blood gang member. None of that. You feel what I'm saying? So, y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas. And this is the problem. Like, I was watching the, um, the clip that they showed. You know, um, I guess a producer was filming him. He was having a, a, a bad, you know, he was in a bad headspace or whatever. And the producer was filming him and he, he started to get mad. He going to break the camera, blah, blah. Then start yelling. The brat trying to calm him down. He talking about some, yo, on power rule, blah, blah, blah. Yo, son. Like, you got to understand. When stuff like that just like naturally comes out, like that wasn't forced. You understand? It just naturally com comes out. That tells me that you probably really do hang around a bunch of blood niggas, but it's to the point that you've lost your own identity and you've picked up what they do. To, like, to the point you're starting to talk like that. And you got to remember, like, bro, that's not you. You are not no blood nigga. Like, you probably have never even been in a fight before. Because you got rich so early in your life. You understand? Like, and then you you doing this, like, you doing this, you gang banging on producers and white people and shit. You'll never go to the hood and be on the on pie rule. Like, come on, man. Come on, Bow Wow. Like, you, you, <sighs> you do so much lame shit. It's like, come on, man. Like, how is niggas supposed to even take you serious, man? You know, and let's say... When they was filming you, you was in a dark headspace or whatever, a dark mental state. You was fucked up. You still chose to take the clip, post it on your Instagram, and promote the show. You don't promote stuff like that. Like, when you really in a serious, you know, uh, dark mental state, and it's like a real... A uh, moment for you because people like really go through that. That's not something you use to try to monetize or have somebody include in the show, whatever, whatever. Like, okay, understandable. You wanted them to stop filming, but at the same time, the other cameras continued filming and you still allowed them to exploit you being in a real dark headspace and, uh, Using that for them to get ratings for their show. When stuff like that is real, you don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? Now I seen the the what you put in the post about the 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 two hundred thousand the two hundred fifty thousand dollars in camera damages, whatever the case may be. I don't know. I don't know because when you went over there and it looked like you was gonna smash the camera. There was something obstructing the view. You couldn't actually see you damaging the camera. So it sounds good, but somebody like me who's into camera work and editing and shit, I know bullshit when I see it. And I don't look like you smashed no $250,000 camera. Let me tell you, anybody at this point with all these dope cameras that's out that don't cost that much money, if you got a camera that costs $250,000, you're a dumbass. If you're walking around with $250,000 in cameras, you're a dumbass. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's great quality cameras for 1000 You get 
fire quality lenses. The lenses be costing more than the camera sometimes, like three or four thousand, but that don't come up to no two hundred fifty thousand. So you feel what I'm saying? So um, I mean, shit. I guess to pay back the camera equipment, you gotta let them kind of exploit you because instead of paying back the shit out of pocket, you're like, all right, I can post this clip, take my cut of whatever money I'm supposed to get off it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You feel me? But moral of the story is two morals. One, you celebrities need to stop with this fake gangbanging shit. You understand? Y'all niggas never, uh, y'all never got jumped in. Y'all are getting extorted by these people. You're not a gang member. They're using you for money. You understand? If shit go down, you're not putting in no work. You got nobody, big homie. You understand what I'm saying? Like, who, who, like, are you the big homie or do you have big homies? And, like, if you do have a big homie, like, you probably got more money than him. So, it's like, what, what, what is the point of you gangbanging? And then the other moral is, if something serious happened in your life and you really going through a certain mental, mental state, do not let motherfuckers exploit that for TV, man. That, that shit is not for that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you want to use that to, to, uh, promote to help something that's helping other people that's going through mental health issues and shit, then cool, use it for that. But you're using it to create a ratchet moment for a fucking TV show. For them to get ratings. Come on, man. Get out of here with that. But that's just my take on that. The Mercy, Trap New York shit, TheMercyTV.com. I think I'm done blogging for the night. But if anything else pops up, I'll be sure to let y'all know. I'm out of here.